UALR's Donaghy College of Engineering and Information Technology, EIT, is well known for its relationship with companies like SAIC. Its students get real-world experience through paid internships. Our relationship with EIT is really making a difference for us and for these students who can become the next generation of technology leadership specially trained for what employers need. The students were very well prepared um, when, they, when they arrived. I was very, very uh, pleasantly surprised that they were ready to hit the ground running. You all have heard from the SAIC people and with uh, some remarks about the quality of the students that they had for their interns for the summer. And we're extraordinarily grateful for SAIC for providing this sort of, of an atmosphere for our students and the experiences which they gained. But we'd like to also point out that we have a lot of other internships that students have had and that the College of Engineering and Information Technology provides to a wide variety of our students. So we want to introduce you to a, to a group of students who we believe you're going to find to be very exciting and you're going to be excited in what they have been able to do. I'm at Washington Group International. I got to work with the furnace systems that incinerate the chemical weapon stockpile here in Arkansas and I really got to use mechanical engineering techniques when I was working on the projects with them. At my Alto internship I worked in the interconnect department. I was responsible for making the public switch telephone network for them. Uh, well, my internship at the Supreme Court, uh, I really kind of do everything. Uh, I started with some web design work there, and it's really evolved into some server administration. I mean, it, it's really all aspects of the web team at the Supreme Court that I work on. EIT allowed me to have, instead of an internship, a great opportunity to go overseas and study in an academic environment and progress in an area that interests me. While I was in Germany, I worked on a data collection, uh, data collection program that would run on a Unix-based system, uh, specifically Linux. Actually, the, uh, the system will be used once it's uh, completely finalized uh, at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado. I did a summer internship at Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control. It was in uh, Camden, Arkansas. Wouldn't believe it. But uh, as you can see behind me, it's one of the projects I worked on. It's the HIMARS vehicle, and that's just a glimpse of what I got to work with every day. Yeah, that's me. That's me at uh, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory at Pasadena, California. I spent 10 great weeks out there this summer doing an internship. Um, it was based on part of the research that I've been doing here at UALR's Applied Science Department that I've been working on for over a year. I got to work with a lot of neat scientists and a lot of neat engineers out there, very smart people, uh, very cool things happening there. We'd have seminars every week talking about new things that the, uh, the NASA department was doing out there. There was a lot of cool robotics that we got involved with. We got to see the new Mars Science Laboratory project that will be going up to Mars in 2010. Uh, we also got to see the new lunar rovers that they're sending up and these things are huge. I mean, they're half scale, six or seven foot tall, have uh, six legs, just huge. Uh, I'm an information science major at ULR. I'm currently a sophomore and um, this internship will really hone my skills in business and in technology. Well, a lot of people think that VCC only has construction management positions for students to go into, but with the growing technology today, there is a lot of need for more technology-oriented people. I'm interning at East Initiative as tech support. I offer schools that give me calls and give me tech support tickets. I offer them help in uh, software and hardware, troubleshooting, any questions they may have. I've always been interested somewhat in uh, aeronautics and stuff like that because uh, I, when I grew up, I, you know, you'll see all the old P-51 Mustangs and stuff like that in movies and, and uh, that's always something that interested me. So uh, I had an opportunity to work at Falcon Jet this, this past summer and do an internship there. I think the engineering and information technology program here at Euler, uh, because it has such strong relationships with the businesses outside or in the Little Rock area. I think uh, it's very rewarding for the students uh, to help them prepare for the uh, real world. And without it, I wouldn't have my job at SCIC. Well, if it, if it hadn't been for the EIT, I don't know where I'd be. My career goals wouldn't be as focused as they are right now. As far as I'm concerned, world-class education. Deutschland is next to mein Hot von Euler. Who would have thought I would have come from a small town like Star City, Arkansas, 
to maybe something like Star City Russia where they train their cosmonauts. The opportunities are almost endless. Everybody's heard of MIT, but I'm here at EIT and I feel like I get just as good as education as anyone in the country. EIT rocks. It just, it absolutely is awesome. I am eternally grateful to UALR for that experience. I don't think that I would have gotten that opportunity had I gone anywhere else. The UALR is the only place in the world you're going to get to work on, you know, 60, 70 million dollar, you know, jets. These are indeed going to be the leaders of the future and our entire area of technology is going to be extraordinarily well represented by these young people. So come technologize with us and let our programs make a difference of degree for you.